Hi everyone, it's Nancy here and I'm just back with the final card that I made for my Hi Little Magpie blog post. I apologise that this has been posted a little bit later because um, I hadn't got around to doing the voiceovers because it's been a crazy, crazy week. So I'm just using my gorgeous um, girl stamps and one of them had this beautiful frame um, and I've just stamped that directly onto this pattern paper and that was from um, the My Girl collection and so I'm just stamping that directly on and then I'm going to emboss it gold I have this gold glitter embossing powder <coughs> and I decided to use that um, in order to just create a border for my card um, it's not the best um, bit of um, embossing and stamping ever but you know it'll do and then I'm just going to be stamping up an image which I'm going to colour in to put on my card and I'm using this lovely um, gorgeous girl stamp and I do just use my um, stamp press that um, I was sent and I love this, I love it so much um, and I've really gone on about it loads and loads before I hadn't stamped this stamp um, before so that's just me um, stamping it off the first time and then I'm ready to go as I said you will have to bear with it while my, com my camera adjusts to the light because I said I do use my LED lights when I'm doing colouring just so I can make sure the lighting's right because I have been known to colour things in the past um, and not realise either how bright they are or the colours and how they're mixing so um, again I'm just flooding the image with um, FS2 which is how I start majority of my skin tones and then I'm just adding in FS3 and as I said these are the ones that I have put my um, brush nibs on <coughs> and I'm really loving um, you know using these for my skin tones because it does make it so much easier to blend I will say this is not the best coloured image that I've ever done um, but I did just want to make another card from my supplies and I really um, enjoyed it. The thing I do just find with these stamps is their size. I mean, they could do for me personally doing a little bit bigger just because the way I colour. But all in all, you know, it doesn't look horrendous and, you know, it's another card made. So I am, you know, loving how it's looking. And so, again, I'm just using my normal. Um, CR3 which I use to do my um, you know kind of rosy cheeks and then of course I go with my BG1 um, how I've got the camera set on this I don't for some reason you're not seeing the caps of the pens but I apologize for that I zoomed in more than I thought I had <coughs> but I will remember for future videos just to be a little bit more aware of what I'm doing so I'm just using the IB one here and that's just to add a little bit of a blue tone on the bits I want to kind of be a white <coughs> and to be fair the colours that I used for this um, image are a little bit odd um, as I said I'm not 100% in love with this image I mean the image I love is just the colouring it's not my best but um, yeah I'll live with it it was quite late at night when I was colouring this as well actually so we can always blame it on that and I'm just going in and just adding some colour and shading and just really building up my layers of colour and I decided I want to bring some more pink into this because of course um, the majority of my scraps and everything were pink so um, I am going to turn the dress to a pink colour instead. Um, so now I'm going to start working on the hair and I, I love the Gorgeous Girl um, stamps and they normally have um, black hair and I've coloured a couple of um, black hair um, you know images but it's not something that I would say I'm 100% happy with um, it's something I need to practice um, a lot more so I tended to just you know kind of you know do a little bit different 
And so I decided to go with a teal sort of turquoise hair. And as you can see, I'm using BT1, I think I'm using BT3 and BT5. And it is just a case of just building up layers. I mean, there's 101 million different techniques of how people um, do their shading and their skin tones. Mine's not correct. <laughs> you know this is how some people do it um but really i think it's just about you know doing what you like and as i said this is not the best image that i've ever co colored in my life but actually i really like how it came out so that's kind of really what matters isn't it <laughs> and i do enjoy experimenting doing you know different colors of hair and things because you know of course i like my bright color hair so, you know, I want to make my stamp images have, you know, beautiful bright coloured hair. So, all I've done to pick the colours here is I will pull out my colour chart, which you've seen me show in my last colouring video. And I will normally um, pick colours that are kind of like one or two apart on the sheet. Um, and I find doing that, you know, is a really easy way to get them to kind of blend quite easily. Of course, if you are new to Spectrum Noirs, of course, if you just buy the packs, then they do come kind of already in tones that will blend and mix quite well together. Um, <clears throat> I'm lucky that I do own most um, of the Spectrum Noirs. I think there's just literally probably about three or four that I don't have. So I am really lucky in that way, and I've got the option to kind of, you know, really pick and choose my colours. And I really love, you know, as I said, this turquoise tone of her hair. And I'm now, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to start um, picking some colours um, to use on her dress. And as I said, I always start by flooding the whole image. I'm not sure where I've seen this or where I learnt this. It's just something that I've done. So I'm just using pale pink there and then I'm using this CR2 <coughs> to add a little bit of shadow. And I've said it lots of times before, there's not really much rhyme or reason for where I put my shadows. I, I could say there is, so I just kind of go with it. Uh, and I said this one doesn't really end up um, coming out fabulous, but that's okay because, you know, we live and learn and so I'm just I just end up layering colors um, over the top to try and kind of keep some definition I'm not you know clothing and stuff is not something I'm great at so it's something of course I want to practice more and more as I color more of these images and you know it's just <coughs> a case of practice makes perfect so I'm just adding pink tones over here um, and then adding in some shadow just to kind of make it, you know, look like there's actually human form in there. And then I'm just going to be colouring in this piece of paper that she's holding with a little heart on. I am going to end up cutting this image out so um, there's some like little crayons on the floor um, of the image. And I'm going to cut that out so you're not actually going to end up seeing that. But I really like how this looks. So I'm just adding, you know, going backwards and forwards all over my image, adding different tones and bits. And I've got in my BG1 for this um, <clears throat> shading. And I think this is what muddies that colour a little bit. So um, I'm not... I think that's what makes me not like it. She ends up looking a little bit grubby. Um, but I don't know, they're supposed to be kind of grungy images, aren't they? I've just taken my um, black glaze pen, Secura glaze pen, just to do the eyes. And I really love doing that because it just makes everything pop. I've just taken my clear wink of Stella there to go over her hair. And I add some um, silver glitter just into that little heart. And I love how the wink of Stella pens um, look. And I'm just going in, just adding my little white highlight. And again, there's no real rhyme or reason for this. I just kind of do what I like. <laughs> um, 
and hey, isn't that, as I said, isn't this what it's all about? So that's really going to finish off the colouring, just adding that little bit of white tone. And so I've just cut that out, and then I've come back with putting my cards together. And I'm using a little bit of off-cut from Maggie Holmes' paper that I had there. And then I've got this Thinking For You, which I've cut from that Pebbles large sheet of paper. Um, and I can see me using like loads of that on um, cards and stuff because I just I don't have loads of sentiment stamps, but you know it's going to be fabulous for that. So I just cut little banner ends on the end of that. I'm inking everything up in weathered wood, just because I have it <laughs> on my desk. As I said, this is a really simple card. I you know I I don't I love really complex cards and what everyone makes, but I don't you know get them used up so. I'm just going to stick the image down in the middle and I do end up adding that rosette to this after <laughs> all the try and get it on that last card so I want to thank everyone for watching I'm just going to replace that middle um, bit with the gem and I hope you've enjoyed this um, video and I'll be back with some more colouring videos soon thank you very much bye